seen any of the girls that we've got on this tape, but I'm sure they're all lovely, as usual. Just hope Anton agrees, but he's probably blooming fussy. Anton, hello, uh, yep. can we come on in? Absolutely. Nice one. <laughs> OK, Anton, tape to the machine, we're ready to go. Who yep. do you not want to turn up on there? The girl from last week. Really? You yeah. like her? No, please promise me you got something better for I her. I promise. Okay, but first of all, what is with the accent? Because you were Irish like a few <laughs> days ago. Um, it was just kind of a plan to get a tactical advantage. It worked. It worked, it did well work. Well done. So. <laughs> first one out, anyway. Hi, Ant. My name's Philippa. I'm a student here in Newcastle doing hospitality and catering. You said you wanted a short girl with blonde hair, but I've got brown hair, and I think if you give me a chance, I could definitely change your mind. She, she seems like really nice, really cute. Um, a local accent could be a problem. We are in Newcastle, though, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know, but <laughs> it's, it's still a problem for me. Hi, Anton, I'm Rachel. I'm a first-year law student at Northumbria. Um, I'm happy and outgoing. I love going out with my friends. I'm quite sensible and down-to-earth, but fun. Um, I love playing basketball, and I really like your Irish accent, so I'd love to hear it again, so pick me. She likes your accent. She's going to be disappointed if you pick her. That's the problem, because <laughs> she's quite nice, actually. Mm -hmm. I quite like her. She's, you know, blind. Seems intelligent. All right, but she's but got the accent as well. No, she doesn't. Hi, my name's Kay. I do graphic design at Newcastle University. I'm into all kinds of music and I love dancing. So if you think you can keep up with me on a dance floor and you like the look of me, then give us a call. Seems like she's an all-rounded kind of girl. Um, By all-rounded, you mean? She's too intimidating, really, for my liking. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Anton. My name's Sarah. I'm studying media at Newcastle. I like to sing and to ride. I love movies and books, especially fantasy but I'd like you to be my reality. I'm not into the whole horses thing. I, you know, just, it's like, oh, la da Really? The, yeah, don't, don't do girls who aren't into their horses. OK, Anton, that's your lot. Who's it going to be? It's going to have to be Rachel, the law mm. student. I like that. Blondie? Student. Blonde. Yeah. Doesn't have an accent. She uh, blatantly does. Oh, right. I'll ignore it. All right, I'll give her a call. <laughs> Hello? Hello, is that Rachel? It is, yeah. Rachel, it's Jane Sharp from Dial a Day. I'm sat here with Anton, and you'll be pleased to know that he's chosen you. How do you feel? Oh, my God. <laughs> um... Are you still up for it? That's all I want to know. Are you still up for, for it for tomorrow? Um, yeah, but... Um, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Right, under normal circumstances, you two would just be meeting for the first time. You've obviously been together a few hours this morning because we've had to drive out to the middle of nowhere. But first, before we go any further, before you get on with your date today, I think we've got a bit of a revelation. Is there something you want us to tell her, Anton? There is something I need to tell you, Rachel. Um, I'm not actually from Belfast. <laughs> in fact, I've never been to Ireland in my life. I'm from down south, East Sussex. <laughs> And I live in the Scottish border, so I am sorry because you did say He didn't know how to break it to you because you liked his accent. And they made me keep it up all day, so I am sorry. Very sorry about that. Very we'll sorry. see how you feel about that later. Come on, we've got to go have some fun. <laughs> <laughs> right, this here is Paul at Ultra Venture. I promise he's not as scary as he looks. Try and enjoy you. yourselves, all right? Hi, guys, how are you doing? Nice to meet you. You all right? Yeah. Right, today we're going to take you kayaking. We're then going to take you off quad biking. And to finish off, we're going to ask you to jump off a cliff. Jump up the cliff. Oh off a cliff. Off a cliff. If I die, don't do it, right? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Anton, are you enjoying your date so far? It's been uh, amazing. I had a really good day. What do you think of Anton? Um, I think he's really nice. He's a really mm -hmm. sweet guy. Uh -huh. yeah. Do you fancy her? Um, depends how you say fancy. I mean, um, I don't I don't entertain her. Do you fancy him from what you know of him so far? Um, a little bit. Uh, I really wasn't expecting that. I honestly wasn't expecting that. Well, you're going to go off now. You've got a chance to talk. You're going to have something to eat. Good. Nice romantic little meal. Go nice. off and enjoy yourself. Will do. Fantastic. All right, cheers, Jake. Thank you. So, how far would you go on a first date? Not very far. Really? Really. What about you, then? It would depend, because, I mean, if you really like someone, you just say, no, no boundaries whatsoever. Compromising sexual positions. The most compromising. <laughs> I've only just met you. Okay, um, 
probably in the back of a car in a car wash at two o'clock in the morning. No one saw you though. No, no, I know. I had to spend like about a fiver on like a super deluxe gold <laughs> wash to last long enough. <laughs> I was going, I was going, you know, the moment seizes you. <laughs> That's so funny. So, have you enjoyed okay. yourself today, young man? I've had an amazing time, thank mm -hmm. you, Jane. What do you think of Anton? Um, I like him. I think he's really sweet. And I don't know whether I'm getting to know like the real Anton or not. I think he's a, a really nice lad. Mm. Um, I'm it, not oh. sure if I fancy him. What do you actually think of her? Come on, yeah. get down a, to it. She's a really cool girl. I think she's really nice, really friendly, mm -hmm. good looking girl. Um, she's beautiful. She's very nice. Yeah. yeah. Do you think he fancies you? No. Do you fancy her? Do I fancy her? Um, yes and no. Yes and no. Um, You've just changed your mind, haven't you? No, 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 I haven't. I... You just told me you fancied her, and then the camera started rolling, and you <laughs> said yes and no. Really? Mm -hmm. He fancies you. <laughs> Does he? Yeah, seriously. I asked him, and he really fancies you. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> She's gone all unnecessary. Is it fair to say we have had a successful dial date? I think it is. It's I think successful. it is too. It's been a successful one. Yeah. I'm very happy. Thank you very no much. Problem. You've been great. It's been a pleasure. Okay, so we're at the end of a very long, tiring day. They've had me chasing after quad bikes all day, had me running through fields of sheep poo. Very nice. I've got mud all over my jeans. They're ruined. But I think it was worth it, even if it was just a case of, well, I'll fancy you if you fancy me, if you know what I mean. But if you fancy your look, pick up the phone, because coming up are eight more beauties, and they're all looking for love, and it could be you on next week's show, which hopefully is going to be a damn sight more glamorous. That was a hint.